Namaste yogis. I am Yogi Vipin Singh Farswan and on the behalf of Himalayan Yoga Association as a teacher here I am welcoming you all in this online teacher training course. I am your Vinyasa teacher and I am wishing you all the very best for the course. Namaste. Namaste yogis. Welcome back to my Vinyasa session. So in today's session we are going to work on arm balancing posture. So let's start with a sitting posture so sit back relax in child pose or vajrasana that release your head by rotating your wrist so first we are going to work on santulana asana so shift your weight forward place your palm and maintain your wrist aligned with your shoulder gently lift your knees off to the bed so the thing you have to avoid here is arching of lower back and lifting of your hip like this so try to avoid this one try to tilt your hip down and push your shoulder blades up squeeze your abdomen stay strong and hold here make sure your hip should be down no need to lift your hip up stay strong with your shoulder and we are going to hold here for 30 seconds so Five, four, three, two, one. Stay there. Two. Keep squeezing your abdomen. Three, four, five. Last ten, nine. It stays strong. Two, five, six, and seven. Slowly, by dropping your knees down, exhale, relax. Now shake your head, release your shoulders. Nice and slowly. So now we are going to do the elbow version of this posture. So gently drop your elbow down. The same thing. Try to squeeze your abdomen. Push high with the shoulder blade, and squeeze your abdomen. Make sure you are also squeezing your hip, so you can release your abs at the same time and hold here. Don't shift too much forward. Try to maintain your shoulder aligned with your hip, and hold here for ten, nine. Eight, seven, six, squeeze, five, push your shoulders up, two, and one. Exhale. Slowly drop your knees down. Shift the weight back and relax in child pose. Nice and slowly. Prepare your mindset for crow pose. Or ek pada ka kasana, the one we have done on the previous floor. So before you going to the main posture, let's do one more round of vasist asana. So this time, same thing, but now you have to shift your weight on your left hand and try to lift your right hand up as you find your balance. Try to lift your right leg up and find your balance. In case this is a bit difficult for you, you can drop your right leg back and lift your right hand up. But make sure you have to avoid dropping your hip down by helping of your shoulder push and lift your hip up, so you can feel more engagement of your obliques instead of this. Do focus on lifting your hip up. And those who are feeling nothing here to make this more advanced, you can lift your leg up and hold here for five, four, three, two, one. Exhale. Back to Santulan Asana, and now switch to Vasist Asana. Slowly lift your left hand up again. Don't drop your hip down. Keep lifting your hip high. And hold here for five, four, 
three, two, stay strong, and one, exhale, relax, and drop your knees down, slowly, shake your hand, shake your shoulders, release your tension from your wrist by shaking your fingers as fast as you can. Breathe in and relax. Now back to downward facing dog. Now we are moving to the main posture. First the posture named crow. Now from here, walk forward. Gently bend your knee. Drop your elbow. So bend your elbow. And place your knee over the elbow or over your lower triceps. Slowly find your balance. Keep lifting your chest up. And lift your both legs off the mat. And find your balance. And hold here for five, four, three, two, one. Exhale first, release your right, then slowly release your left down. Now from here, find your malasana and keep moving your wrist, keep rotating your wrist to release tension from the wrist, from your palm. Shake your hands, shake your shoulders. Now let's do the advanced person by lifting one leg up. Now shift your weight forward. Find a crow. Now slowly shift your weight on your right leg, on your right hand, and straight your left leg. And hold here for five, four, three, two, one. And drop down, relax. Again. Release your tension from your wrist by shaking your head. Shake your shoulders down. Try to maintain your spine straight. Now let's do on the other side, same thing. Find a crow first, shift your weight and inhale. Lift your right leg up and hold here for five, four, three, two, one. And exhale. Back to the center and relax. And shake your hand, shake your leg, shake your shoulders. Now from Malasana, place your hands on your mat. Sit forward and jump back to Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale up and exhale. Go back to down, facing down. And exhale, drop your knees down. And relax in chai pose. Nice and slowly stay there. Breathe in and breathe out. Now inhale up and relax. Try to minimize your breath. Slow down your breath. Now interlace your finger. Just move your wrist. Rotate your wrist left and right, right to left. Now, our last posture is Ek Hasta Bhuja Asana. So the posture looks like this. So for this, you need to work on your hip flexion or your arm strength to lift your hip off the mat. So I have a modification with the strap so we'll do it together with the strap so what you have to do just fix your knuckle fix your strap on the locker try to lock your strap and make a round like this so from here place your one strap the one line of the strap from the downward off to on your hamstring like over your knee not on the knee huh this should be like over the knee now from here try to combine them together and now try to go down of the strap and fix those strap underneath the shoulder blade not on the 
lower spine, this should be on the thoracic, or you can see by lifting your hand up, try to feel your shoulder blade. So now you can easily find your shoulder blade here, slightly fixed underneath them. And according to your body size, you can make your strap tight or loose. Now as you stay there, so in case you are not comfortable with your hand or like the height is too short for you, you can use a block, like two block from the sideways. I don't have one block here. So I'm going to show you with the strap, sorry, with the, without block. So in case if you have two blocks, so you can use a block by the sideways. And one more thing, you don't need to place your hand by aligned with your hip a bit forward in between the midline of your thigh. This should be like this, breathe in, lengthening your spine and slowly lift up. Try to lift from your hip and exhale down. So try this version with a strap you will find more easier your body weight gets so much lighter by using the strap so you can easily lift your hip off to the mat. So main thing again, don't place your hand by side of your hip. This should be aligned with your mid thigh and breathe in, lift up. So you can swing right and left, up and down, nice and slowly. And exhale, relax. As you are done, release your strap and come out from the posture. So to strengthening your core or strengthening your hip flexor, to learn this movement, I will prefer you to work with the strap and then go without the strap. So from here, wherever you are, jump back to Chaturanga and inhale, come up for Urdhva Mukha, exhale. Go back to Adho Mukha and drop my knees down and relax in child pose. Breathe in and breathe out.